Man in Black, from the Dark Tower series, who also goes by the name of Randall Flagg. He has many names, but in most cases, he uses the initials R, F, and sometimes uses the name Walter Odin. Flagg is a sorcerer who is a devoted servant of the Outer Dark. His abilities are supernatural in nature, and he has the power to foretell the future to a certain extent. He can bring back the dead, and also control humans and animals and their movements. He exists mainly to destroy worlds and civilizations through chaos and destruction as he weaves the strings of conflict through humans in their own ambitions and desires. Flagg has made many appearances in more than nine of Stephen King novels over the years. He made his first appearance in the novel, The Stand, as an evil being or demon who creates chaos after a plague that kills off most of the world's population. Next, he appears in the novel, The Eyes of the Dragon as an evil sorcerer who creates a web of deceit among a king, his sons, and his family and he tries to destroy the entire kingdom of Delane. These books also can be looked at a type of origins of sorts for Flagg. Randall Flagg is best known for his role as the man in black in Stephen King's The Dark Tower series. His main goal is to keep Roland Deschain from reaching the tower so that he can get there first and proclaim himself a god. Flagg is described as a tall man with no age and his actual history is a mystery, even to himself. He says at some point, he just became, but he remembers being a marine, a clansman, a Viet Cong, and he was involved in the kidnapping of Patty Hearst. Patty Hearst in real life, was a woman who was kidnapped in 1974 by a left-wing terrorist group called, the Symbionese Liberation Army. After being threatened and isolated for many months, she became supportive for their agenda and causes. He attracts people who are drawn to power and rule, and that have ambition in their hearts. Next he appeared in the novel, The Heart of Atlantis. He went by the name, Raymond Fiegler and he was an activist group leader who prevents Carol Gerber from stopping a bomb from going off at a college campus. In this book, he also possesses the ability to make himself appear to him as one of his powers. He makes several more appearances in the Dark Tower series, and he made his presence felt as a true villain and regarded by Stephen King as the best villain that he ever created. In flashbacks, Flagg has many identities such as, Martin Broadcloak, which is a sorcerer, who colludes with the Crimson King to bring down the Dark Tower. Another person he assumes the name of is, Richard Fannin. Later through the Dark Tower series, much more of Flagg's background and origins is revealed to the reader. He was born by the name of Walter Poddick in the city of Delane to the parents of Sam Miller and Eastar Barony. When Walter was 13 he went out on his own on the road and he was raped by a fellow wanderer by the name of Bear Vincent. This may explain why Flagg wanted to bring down and destroy the city of Delane in the novel, The Eyes of the Dragon. After the rape, instead of running back home with his tail between his legs, he becomes more determined and searches out for power by the way of the dark arts, and learns many forms of magic and achieves a form of immortality and becomes the being known as Flag. After hundreds of years of creating chaos and destructions throughout many timelines, the Crimson King takes notice of him, and takes him as his ambassador of darkness and evil. I hope you enjoyed the brief explanation and history of the man in black and please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.